Who are your artistic inspirations? My father, mainly. George Perez, Frank Miller, Jim Lee, Weiss Portacio. There's a lot of them out there that are very inspiring. Every There's always new genres and new people who get into the business and they just inspire you and get a piece of them and that you incorporate that in your art. Growing up, what, what were the comics you were collecting? You're like, I, I gotta draw this and oh wait, no, I like. Batman, X-Men, anything that I could get my hands on, just anything that was inspiring. It was just, it was just the comic field and also the comics that are out there are just exciting to see. And, and coming to a con like this, it's great to see other people and other artists be inspired to do it. Tell me about uh, some of your licensed properties that you do, you know. I have a couple of them. One of them is Messiah's Chosen. It's a, a religious comic. It's coming out next year, sometime next year, that I've been working on for, uh, I think, about 10 years now. So be looking out for that. And where could folks find your art? What's your website? Um, go on, go on Facebook.com, go under Studio 823, and you can message me and you can see the cons that I've been and also the people that I've met. Tell me about these cupcakes, because um, they're bomb. I I'm ready to like eat a bunch and then pass out. Um, they're bomb. Marion Cakes and Catering, right here, it's the bomb. She's been traveling with me with Studio 823, and basically it's just comic-themed cupcakes at the Comic Cons, which is a big hit. I mean, Comic-Con cupcakes sound great. I mean, I could take some of those, put my own ingredients in into them, and hand them out at a party. That might, uh, maybe it might get uncomfortable yeah, just me, no, right? No, you can't do that. Oh. No, no, think again. All right, I'll, I'll do something different.